Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Navy has been pushing for three carrier based structure so that it can operate two of them in maritime zone on each side of Indian coastline that is eastern and western seaboard. This can only happen when Navy has three carrier as one will be used as substitute when either of the first two undergoes the maintenance. As per the recent report by the Indian Express, the decks of another aircraft carrier are almost clear with all paperwork complete. This will be of the same size as the recently commissioned INS Vikrant but better equipped and added indigenized content. The Navy has completed all the documentation work and is expected that approvals from the government will come very soon. Recently, even the Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, speaking at Agenda Aztec 2022, has told that the planning has started for the second indigenous aircraft carrier after the big achievement of INS Vikrant. The Indian Navy chief has also told that the Navy has a requirement of three operational aircraft carrier and has also been acknowledged by the Standing Committee on the Defence. The requirement for third carrier is being actively considered by the government. As per report, the aircraft carrier is also expected to be a 45,000 ton displacement and will have a stowbar technology for the onboard combat aircraft. The process for the larger aircraft carrier has been kept on hold. The development of third aircraft carrier is being planned in line with the TEDBF program. As per Ministry of Defence, the Indian Navy along with ADA is proactively pursuing design and development of indigenous twin-engine deck-based fighter that is TEDBF. The Navy chief said during the Navy day that Indian Navy is preparing the draft cabinet note on TEDBF and confident that by 2026, Navy will have the prototype. The production of the aircraft would start by 2032. It has also been reported recently that Rafal M is leading the contender for Navy's multi-role carrier-borne fighter MRCBF program to supply 26 fighter aircrafts. The experience gained from the construction of ISC Vikrant by Cochin Shipyard Limited has been significant. Though the first aircraft carrier took nearly 13 years to build, but now CSL is confident in delivering second aircraft carrier same as ISC Vikrant that is 45,000 ton capability in just 5 years. ISC uses ski jump technology for launching the aircraft from the carrier. However, CSL is also confident in building aircraft carriers that use electromagnetic aircraft launch system that is EMAILS adopted in aircraft carriers of US Navy. The Cochin Shipyard Limited is also constructing new dry dock at an estimated cost of Rs 1799 crore. This dry dock is conceived with a length of 310 meters and will be a stepped up dock with a width of 75 meters at wider part and 60 meter at narrower part. It will have a depth of 13 meter and a draught of 9.5 meter. In terms of size of the dock and the strength of dock floor, this will be one of the largest dry docks in India. The new dry dock when commissioned will help Cochin Shipyard to have a more diversified product portfolio. This dual purpose dry dock is planned essentially to tap the market potential of repairs and construction of specialized and technologically advanced large vessels such as LNG vessels, jackup rigs, drill ships, large dredgers, second indigenous aircraft carrier and the repair of offshore platforms and larger vessels. The new dry dock can comfortably handle aircraft carrier of 70,000 ton docking displacement and tankers and merchant vessels of 55,000 ton docking displacement. The dock floor is designed to take a loading of 600 ton per meter. The design caters for sufficient safety margin as per international standards. The new dock is expected to be commissioned by July 2023. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.